I am very, very excited because I'm going to be speaking to a gentleman that really I can't believe I didn't know before now. As Beard of the Year 2019, I do have to try and take care of the facial hair. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of gentlemen out there that like to try and do the same and find it a little bit difficult at times. We know it gets a bit unruly. And listen, I'm not being rude or, you know, trying to discriminate against anyone. Maybe some girls out there like a little bit of beard. I know my mum does. However, she tries to tame hers as much as she can. But I'm going to be speaking to a guy now that started his business a good few years back and he is absolutely flying. We're talking about Mobros and it is time to say hello to Caval. Hi, mate. How are you? Hey, Ryland. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Really good. So, Kev, I want to speak to you because, as I said, you have very kindly sent me a few of your products that you sell through Amazon. And um, I've been looking at this one. This is proper ultimate. This is the Beard Maintenance Grooming Kit. Now, this pretty much has everything personally I would need to tame the mane on my face, to be perfectly honest. Would you mind talking me through a couple of the steps? The very first thing you want to be doing is using that soap that's in there and it's cleaning uh, your skin's natural oils away and what you're going to be doing next is putting some oil back in. So we've got um, a little beard oil in, in the kit for you. Yes, we have. Um, Go on the beard oil. And we've, and then we've got two styling products uh, that are included, so beard balm or butter, and it's, it's just a matter of choice with those two. Um, you could go for a butter, which gives you a really nice matte finish, or you could go for a balm that gives you a slight shine. So it depends on, on how you feel and where you are. Where so you I, are I could have a shimmery day. beard? You could have a shimmery <laughs> beard if you want. And, you know, you, you've, you've, you've already beard of the year, so you've got to <laughs> uphold that title. You 2019, know, 2019, 20, 2019. Okay, come 2020 on. hasn't been announced, so we, we need to get it in right now. <laughs> anyway. this, is, this is what we're going for. We're going for the double. Now, I've double. probably got a million of these beard combs, but I do have to say this one's lovely. Is this wood? So this is wooden. Uh, it's a wooden comb, and we do that so it doesn't snag, so it's anti-static. Um, and if you if you want to run it through your beard just there and just see how that feels, there's no snagging. Oh yeah. And it just trains. You want to be using this every day, and it just makes combing really easy, really fun. It's got rounded edges as well, so it doesn't ever scratch your skin. That's right. You're completely it just right. Glides I find through. a lot of the time, I find a hell of a lot of the time that when I do use a beard comb, it gets caught the second I put it in my beard. So what is it about these these teeth that are that are doing that? Well, all the edges have been rounded off and wood naturally is anti-static. So you've got, at the same time, it's almost like it's massaging your skin as it goes through. So you'll feel it feels really nice. It does. And there's, and it, you, you know what it's like when we've had the odd hair that's caught up in a standard brush, you know, and it snags and you're like, ow. But you, you're removing precious beard hair, really. And, you know, we've grown it with pride. So you know, we should comb it with pride and wear, you know, use the right, right utensil, she would say, or uh, device. Absolutely. Um, and we've got our trusted beard oil as well, you know, and, and that, you know, is, is your sidekick. And this is going to be your secret weapon this year, I think. Right. Well, let's talk about this beard oil because this is vanilla and mango. I've got to say, I'd probably wear this oil as an aftershave because it smells so nice. I always get confused with a beard oil. Do I pop that in my hand and pop it on my beard and then comb or do I actually put it on the comb? Uh, well, I've never heard of putting it on the comb, but, we, but I'm, I'm guessing there's always a first for everything, <laughs> right, Ryland? Um, <laughs> but, um, but normally I just get a couple of drops um, in my palms. So for your beard length, probably three or four drops. Yeah. And then you really want to just work it into your hands and really get it in there, you know? Um, want to get it right down to the skin, into your moustache and all the little creaks and then over your beard as well. And you can feel, as soon as that goes on, you know, Goodness, it yeah. smells good. It and does. it just makes your beard feel soft and you can see see already it's gave you a slight little shine to it. So that shiny it's beard. just just that feeling. <laughs> yeah. It does feel and it becomes so routine. nice. It does feel so, so nice. And also as well, when it comes down to oils and things like that, I, I sometimes have sensitive skin and, and things like that. This oil is going to be going on the face. What's the skincare like when it comes down to the oil? So it's a completely natural formulation. So we're using grapeseed, argan oil, oba, and we're using sweet almonds. So you don't really have to worry about that. And, you know, the fragrance is kept down to a minimum. Very rarely will you get any irritation, um, if any. 
um, from using a, a natural product compared to something that's got chemicals in it. Absolutely. And then there's so many people. I don't think I even could begin to grow a beard until I was about 24, 25. And there's so many guys out there that are, you know, in their 30s and always find it difficult to grow a beard. Like, I didn't think I'd ever have a beard for a start. And lo and behold, here it is in all its glory. But what is the top tip for maintaining your beard? Because, you know, I'm at the moment going through a stage where I'm trying to grow my line out a little bit more. So I want to go slightly higher with my line because I tend to shape it a little bit lower down the face because it's a shame to waste these beautiful cheekbones, Kev. Do you know what I mean? So, but I, <laughs> I want it to look a lot yeah. more fuller. How would you sort of promote um, getting a really great beard? So we've got a few tricks for that. You know, again, we were really set with using natural ingredients. So the, the oil that you've got there um, introduces vitamins A, B, uh, there's linoic acid and it's, it's um, I think it's that, that's called the vitamin B7. So you, you're introducing natural vitamins to, that's going to help uh, aid your hair and keep your follicles hydrated. That we do have beard balm or we have beard butter as well. So balm is probably the best because it adds volume to your beard. If you've got yours there, I'll show you exactly how to get some of that in as well. So what are we going for, the balm or the butter? We'll go for the we'll go for the beard balm this right, time. Right, we're going for the balm. I love the little pots as well. So you want to grab uh, your nail and scoop out a little pea-sized amount, just just about that. Yeah, got that. Get it into your palm. Get it into the palm. And then mix mix it in, and you'll see it will just melt. It does just disappear. Just just disappears. You, the warmth from your hands will just just melt it. So you want to get that from top down. And all you want to do is just cover all your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels so And you'll soft. find that it'll, it'll make it really soft. It's going to make it give you a slight volumizing look. And, and, and it gives it, tops up that little shine as well. So it gives you a fuller look straight away. Oh, that is really nice. I'm just now looking at myself on the camera. It does. It really, really feels nice. And is this going to promote growth of the beard? Yeah, so what, what Balm's doing is that you, it's a topical treatment that's locking in moisture and all the goodness within your beard. So, you know, if you think we're constantly in and out, you know, we're in a hot environment and then we'll go outside, it's very cold. And that temperature uh, change, you know, can affect, affect your hair. It can cause it to dry out really fast. So by having a Balm um, and putting a product on, it's going to be making sure that, you know, we, we're keeping the existing hair that we've got in its best condition. Absolutely. Um, well, look, I've enjoyed having a good old play. And again, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. I literally want to lick my own face, which isn't the best thing to be doing at the moment. <laughs>